you know, we've had our struggles. We've had our times when we thought that we might not be able to make it. We got a little dismal. Uh, dismal. But behind every dark cloud, there's a truly silver lining. And it takes that leadership. It takes that person that's saying that it can be done, that we're able to stand here today and to recognize this, the work that has indeed been done. This is, again, merely the beginning, the doorway of no return. We have two other paths to, to travel. But again, we, we wouldn't be this far, as I said before, without the leadership the fortitude, the person that gave us that guidance. And I would be remiss if I did not call up at this time the most honorable mayor of the city of Cleveland, Mayor Frank G. Jackson, to give a words of encouragement, continue encouragement. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And how's everybody? Great. You know, uh, I want to thank you, Mr. Ewan, for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak. But uh, as you know, uh, uh, I was just somebody who came along at this time. Uh, there were many, many, many other people who uh, started it, who carried it on, and I just did my part. And Mr. Ewing is part of a long line of people who took up the mantle, and from uh, Mr. Booker Tall all the way up to Mr. Ewing to ensure that this was happening. So I want to thank you. Thank you. Uh, again, as you know, there's nothing that happens in and of itself, and I don't have all the names of the people, but I do know there are some African-American contractors that without their assistance and their dollars and their expertise, this would not have happened. Uh, Dominic Ozan, who took a personal interest and actually drove this thing uh, to completion on the construction side. We have Lonnie Coleman here. Uh, from Coleman Spahn uh, Company. Uh, Mr. Perkins, I don't see him or his son here, but they were major contributors to this. And then there are those who, who were not part of the contracting, but they were people who just gave us money. Uh, 25000 here, 50000 there, 10000 there, 5000 there. Uh, I know Mr. Pogue is here from uh, Jones Day, and they gave us a, a certain amount of money. So I want to say that all those people are people. And then we had, uh, uh, I can remember every time I would come to the June 18th celebration, there was always a little table somewhere where a group of ladies in their T-shirts would be raising just nickels and dimes and dollars. And they put that money together. So this is really a combination of uh, the community that allowed us to get this far. So I want to, uh, again, uh, thank Mr. Ewing for his leadership, for his tenacity, for uh, going through those darker times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen. But staying in there, I want to thank uh, the African-American contractors who worked with me to put up the first uh, money, uh, a couple of hundred thousand dollars. I want to thank uh, I think Councilwoman Saber Scott was there, Councilman Conwell, uh, Councilman Johnson raised money in council. So there's a lot of people, and I want to thank all of you, all of you for making this possible. And of course, this would have not happened without the vision of Mr. Biggerstaff, uh, 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 our architect, who came up with the design. And, and, and Mr. Biggerstaff, uh, you know, we're sitting up here at phase one, but we have phase two and three to go, so we're not finished. And, and as Dr. Jordan knows from the work that he's put into this, that uh, this is uh, just something that we do as a labor of love. So thank you very much. Right. Okay, thank you very much, Mayor Jackson.